Hello everyone, my name is Ramesh Chung. Nowadays, most of us use a credit card. We have a credit card in our pockets. So we go to the market, we do the shopping and everything. But we hardly know how electronically the transaction is processed. When you swipe your card into the post machine, into the post terminal, or you insert your card, how the transaction is actually routed to your bank. This is something we are going to cover in this video session. We will try to understand the basics of card and payment domain. What is an issue or what is an issue. Give you an example to understand when you go to a supermarket, how your transaction reaches to your bank. Now, for example, let's suppose you go to a supermarket. So this is the supermarket. You go there, you do some shopping, you buy some grocery and everything. Now at the end, you go to the billing counter you swipe your card over there. So post terminal, the point of sale terminal where you either insert your card or swipe your card. So whichever type of card you have. So when you swipe your card, it goes out of the post. So once you swipe, the transaction goes out. Now for example, let's suppose you have a credit card of bank A. It can be any bank where you have applied for a card and you finally you know once it is approved you have got the card so for example let's suppose your card belongs to bank a however when you went to the supermarket you notice this point of sale terminal device belongs to some other bank it doesn't belong to the bank a it belongs to bank b now what happens bank b has a separate network bank A has a separate network you are using the device of bank B how your transaction will reach there this is a question this is something which we need to understand when you do the transaction at post terminal the transaction reaches here how because post terminal will swipe the transaction this post is connected to the network of bank B right so this transaction can easily reach to the bank B since both are on the same network right so the transaction reaches to bank b now when bank b will receive your transaction how would bank b know they need to route this transaction to bank a they cannot because they have a separate network they have a separate network so i'll just give you one example of your daily life let's suppose you go out to the market you're in market you reached here somehow by bus or some transport but whatever it is so you reached market this is the bus stop this is your home and there is also a bus stop so now when you go to the market you want to go back to the home you reach to the bus stop definitely there is a bus going to come okay you will get inside the bus and you will reach your home so what happens here you, we need to just understand this is a separate bus stop this is a separate bus stop both are not same right the same as here bank B is different bank A is different so if you try to link this right this is your bank B and this is your bank A right you belong to bank A you need to go here so what do you do you have taken a bus to reach here so the same way here also to reach the transaction you know to push this transaction to bank A, there is a middleware. What that middleware is? This is called payment system or payment scheme. <coughs> so what happened? If you check your card, you must have a plastic card in your pocket. You just check on your card. There are two things mentioned on your card. One is the bank name and the payment scheme name. Like you have your credit card number, expiry date, all those things. But apart from that, you have bank name and the payment scheme. So bank name is bank A because you belongs to bank A. This card belongs to and payment scheme is this. For example, this can be Visa, Mastercard, Amex. So jcb cup so there are there can be anything like any payment system so 
for example let's suppose there is visa written over there whatever written over there so it could be visa it could be mastercard it could be mx it could be jcb and it could be cup whatever it is so now what happened <coughs> because the card number on written on your card for example it's a 16 digit number for example one two three four five whatever is written this card belongs to any of these payment system so when you do the transaction at the post machine bank b will receive the transaction this bank b will identify what a card number is what type of card it is based on the card number the bank will route the transaction to the payment scheme for example this one two three four five six belongs to visa so they will send the transaction to visa if it belongs to mastercard they will send it to mastercard so whatever the payment system this bank b is supporting only those cards they can accept for example bank b is supporting only visa or mastercard and your card bank a card belongs to visa so what they will do they will route the transaction to visa when this transaction is received by visa payment system they will check this particular bin belongs to which bank now in your case they will see this goes to bank b in some other cases from in case of your friends your family member this card may belongs to c or d so it can be any bank okay so the payment schemes in that case will route your transaction to the different bank so this is just an example for us to understand when you are doing a transaction at some other bank terminal your transaction is routed to your own bank because this bank has the data of your card what is your so once the transaction reaches here they will do all those validation okay so they will do all those validation you have limit your pin is correct whatever they will do n number of checks once they perform all these validation they will say yes transaction is approved this is a good transaction so they will send a response back to the payment system this bank a the payment system will send this response to b bank b and bank b will send this response back to post terminal once the response reaches here the post machine will populate a message approved transaction is approved your receipt will be printed and you'll go home so this is a complete cycle of an authorization this is just one example i'm giving you in this video there can be n number of example but this is just a basic of a card cycle card authorization cycle so now in this diagram i'll just remove this So now in this diagram there are two blocks. Majorly I can see there are two blocks. This is one of the block. Okay. And this is payment system. I won't highlight it now. I will just highlight the two major blocks. We will cover more details in further videos. Now in this diagram there are two blocks. Block this block one and block two. Now this block is basically those who are accepting your transaction at the terminal level. Okay, so it means they are actually acquiring your transaction, right? They are just acquiring it, they are getting it for some time and they are forwarding it to some other destination, right? Once they identify, they are forwarding it to payment system and payment system is forwarding it to the bank A. So this block is called as an acquirer. because they are just acquiring your transaction they don't know what your card is what your card has balance what is your pin they don't know anything because they are the owner of your card so they have all the details same as the bus concept okay so now this this particular block is called as acquirer block i would say the bank b is the acquirer and uh, this supermarket where you have swiped your card this supermarket is called as a merchant So this merchant is a customer of acquirer bank B, right? So merchant is customer of acquiring bank B. So you are using your card at the merchant. Merchant is sending it to the acquirer because this merchant belongs to acquirer bank. Now acquirer bank is sending it to the payment system and payment system is sending it to the owner. Owner means 
who is actually issuing the car who has issued your car so that is the owner so this particular block we call it as issuer the bank a is an issuer in issuer and what is an acquirer in my upcoming videos we will try to understand it in more detail we will try to cover more and more topics of card and payment domain like the single messaging dual messaging we will try to understand the owner's concept of us we will try to understand more deeply the card and payment domain now from this video if you have any doubt you have any question you can subscribe my youtube channel and you can comment over there i will try my level best to get back to you thank you very much bye bye